Philippe, I mean, if you um, massively um, do this type of, of completely, completely wrong intervention, I think you're going to see all the type of things you guys are interested in, in terms of pathology with regard to the immune system, which is, for example, tolerance towards a number of other viruses. I think if, the, if you have this innate antibody suppressed for a long time because people's, uh, you know, antibodies are boosted, all vaccinal antibodies are boosted all the time. And you suppress this innate immune response that is directed most likely against self glycans that are sitting on a number of viruses, even, even at HIV, etc. But in fact, all envelope glycosylated viruses will have a kind of tolerance towards these viruses, right? But you will also have, of course, hyper, uh, you know, uh, hyper inflammatory reactions. You will have uh, autoimmunity. You will have all these type of, 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 uh, of different things, which is very problematic. And you're saying nothing makes sense. But look, I mean, if you simply think about this, we now, so to say, are using vaccines that ultimately enhance the infectivity of the virus and reduce virulence. When does that happen? Do you know of any vaccine that has this type of characteristics? Yeah. It enhances the infectivity and it reduces the virulence. I mean, there is no such vaccine. So that already, together with the things you were alluding to, makes the whole thing so incredibly suspicious that I cannot understand that not more people take a deep dive into this to see where the nonsense comes from, right? It's just incredible. It, it, it occurs to me that the immune system itself must be very confused and, mm. and horrified by what it sees happening. And it, it's taking it a while, and it's going to take it a while to figure out how do we correct this mess that the vaccines have been creating? Uh, and I think that's Geert's, one of his greatest message is, is that we as physicians uh, have underappreciated the complexity of the immune system, the complexity of the interplay between the virus and the immune system. We've, we've underappreciated the concepts of immune pressure uh, and viral pressure back. Hmm. Um, we haven't appreciated the, the concept of evolutionary biology. Uh, and I can tell you, Geert, that your, the depth of your understanding of how the immune system works and all of, all of this complexity is so much deeper hmm. than um, any physicians I know of. Uh, and one of the problems I think is that <clears throat> physicians in general throughout this pandemic have not really had a fair chance to uh, dive deeply into the immunology and vaccinology and, immun and uh, virology of this, uh, of the COVID situation, either because they've been too tired or just too busy um, or, or because they've been strongly encouraged, even pressured, to just simply accept the prevailing COVID narrative and not challenge it. Yeah. And then I think another problem is that most physicians just do not have the immunology uh, background uh, to be able to adequately challenge the prevailing narrative. I'm hmm. lucky because I happen to have spent my my whole adult <clears throat> uh, medical life uh, observing how the immune system works and how it fails to work in some people and results in autoimmunity. So I have that background and it's been easier for me uh, to delve deeply into this. But I've learned more from you, Geert, than I've learned from anybody <laughs> my whole career. And, mm. and I think nope. that. Mm -hmm. I, I was just, just about to say, uh, Rob, that is where your open letter comes in. It is so important, you know, for uh, doctors, for uh, pediatricians, 
that at least when they read this, because there is, you know, um, a lot about explaining things. So many, many observations, people simply think, yeah, that's how the virus uh, acts. That's how the virus reacts. It's, it's like this. It's an intrinsic property of the virus. And then when you start to explain a little bit, I mean, it's also for people going to be very, very interesting to see that, oh, now I understand where this comes from. I found this very confusing. See, here is an explanation, etc. There is no way around this. We have a mission, a task, including yourself, uh, Rob, to educate, to educate our colleagues, to edu educating the people about this is so difficult because already amongst ourselves, look, the type of complexity that we are discussing, and we are not even going into, into uh, the detail of this, but we must, we must start to educate um, people, our colleagues, etc. They don't need to understand everything. If they understand like five of 10% of what we are talking about, we would be living in another world. I think we all agree on this. And, uh, and therefore, uh, again, the, uh, the fantastic thing about your open letter, I think it's a, it's a fantastic start to elicit a little bit people's interest and also, um, you know, uh, the, the, the concern, the concern that this is a complex thing and uh, that it is uh, really something, an intervention in nature that is very, very serious. And people simply need to realize that these kind of infections in textbooks of virology, virology is classified as acute self-limiting infection or acute self-limiting disease. That means that the vast majority of the people are, you know, asymptomatic and those who get the disease they cure themselves, right? It's acute self-limiting. It's not a chronic thing and it's acute self-limiting. And that is also reflected in the nature of the pandemic. For example, the flu, other coronavirus epidemics are self-limiting. After two, three waves, you know, they come to an end. And this type of things, I think it's simply important that people understand that with this mass vaccination, we are fundamentally and very dramatically reshaping, you know, this kind of equilibrium between the virus and the immune system. So um, again, uh, the more we can spread this letter and the more, uh, you know, people like yourself and others. I mean, uh, Rob, I don't like to, you know, this, all these interviews either. People may think I like this. I don't, but it's, it's simply an obligation. We have, we have to educate people on some of these very, very important notions because what is going on is so incredibly wrong. It's so incredibly wrong. It's not like we can tolerate this. It is not.